Hey everybody, welcome back to Jennifer's Garden. Today we are canning butter. Um, I found this recipe on Pinterest, so I wanted to give it a try. So I've sterilized all my canning jars. These are eight ounces. I just took them out of the oven and they're still pretty hot. So I opened up all my sticks of butter. I cut them into three sections. So two of the sections are three tablespoons, one of the section is two tablespoons in each package. So I'm going to be dropping two of the three tablespoons in here in each one. And I'm really doing this because, um, I don't know about you, but I hate really hard butter in the winter. I like real sticks of butter, so they're really hard all winter long. Um, and once I've read that once you um, process the butter again, like this, it never fully goes back to a solid, solid form, so that the butter will always be soft and it says that it lasts up to three years once it's canned. So they'll be processed like a regular canning jar would be processed. And since, if anybody knows me, you know I uh, get a, a cow and I'm actually getting a pig here too, so um, I don't have a lot of freezer space to be saving butter, so. So then you take the last stick, the two tablespoon portion of the stick, and you plop it on top. I'm just trying to keep it in the center so as it melts in the oven, it won't make a mess. I, usually, I did use a cookie sheet just to kind of keep them, keep everything together. easier to move around. I'm really excited to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna pop these in the oven for about 15 or 20 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll top them off and do the final process. Okay, so I heated the jars up to for 15 minutes, um, melted all the butter. As you can see, this is still really, really hot, so be careful if you're touching. Um, then I'm gonna put two of the three tablespoons in each jar. Do this for nine of them because we have an odd number here. And then I'm going to put three 
of the two tablespoons that are left in each of the last three jars. I'm going to put my glove on since these are really hot, but I want to move along quickly. So you always take a damp paper towel or a cloth and wipe the rims because if there's any foreign substance on the top of the rim, when you put the, the lids on, the lids and the bands, uh, they may not seal properly because there's something underneath there. So you always wipe the rim off before you put them on. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this for so long. Be careful with these guys. These last three are sticking up pretty. A little bit high. It's okay if they touch in the middle, they'll be melted here soon anyways. Okay. I have my little magnetic guy. This water is really hot. And I'll just put each lid on. And if you can see on the inside of this lid, there's a, a little rubber membrane. And when it gets heated up in the canning process, that's actually what makes it seal while it's canning. So if you use a pressure canner, it's you pushing, using pressure to expel all the air. And that's what seals the jar and keeps everything good for as long as it does. But with this, it's just butter. They'll still um, can because you know the, the tops have those little spring actions in the center. So uh, once it expels the air, it'll pop. You'll hear it pop. That means that the jar is sealed. And when you do this, you don't put it on real tight, just hand tight. They're cooled down a little bit. Just 
tan tight. Not super tight. We'll tighten them afterwards. Because if you if you tighten them too tight, the air can't be expelled from the jar. Alright, last one. We're gonna pop it back in the oven for 45 minutes. Then when I bring them back out, I'll let them cool. So when everything melts, it separates from the there's a little more solid on the bottom, so it's it's lighter on the bottom. I don't like how it separates, so I'm gonna kind of swish them around a little bit throughout the day, and um, then we'll see. Okay, so I left them in the oven for 45 minutes. I'm just tightening up the bands a bit, and then we wait for them to pop. popped when I took them out. Like that. Hot. Once the tops pop, I'll start shaking them a little. Like, oop. like you can actually see which ones pop and which ones haven't popped. Like this one hasn't popped yet, but this one has, so you can see the indentation, you can see the difference. But they'll all pop, and then like this one has popped, so I will just just gently mix everything back together every so often. And there's my canned butter. So I'll keep going throughout the day and I'll show you how it all comes back together. So all the tops have popped and now I'm just gonna gently mix, mix them all up. I mixed some of them up already. And every 10 or 15 minutes, I'll come back and mix them up a little bit more. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. You can tell the difference between this that's shaken up, I can shake it up a little better now that it is cooling down. And this one, because you can see how it's still separated. And then if I, I didn't really wanna shake them too much while they were still hot because they were still trying to seal themselves, but now you can see them mixed together. And then we do that one. But I have to keep doing this because they will settle again. Like this one. Starting to settle again already. But you can still see that it's still mixed better than it did before. You can see that one. I had done that one already. keep doing it. It's all mixed together. Okay, and that's it. So now they've all pretty much solidified. They're just about there. They kind of go quick once they get to that point that they're mixed together. So, I mean, I'll still come around and wiggle these a little bit just to make sure, but they're going to at least solidify pretty well. 
and that's canning butter. So I had 12 eight ounce jars. Um, I did five pounds, uh, five pounds and one stick of butter for all of this, and it fit all 12 of these. So uh, I hope you like my video, and you can subscribe, and I'll show you the raised beds that we're putting around the garden here soon. Everything's going great here. Thanks. Bye.